Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Rakari and I'm going to be giving you a brief look at Crimson Dragon. We're going to go through the first mission which is called the Recruit's Duty and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know to get started in this game. So as we first start out, you'll see my Bloodskin Dragon here. Now, I've fully evolved this dragon so don't pay too much attention to how it looks yet. You'll get that soon enough. Uh, moving the left thumbstick back and forth will move you across the screen. Pressing the right bumper or the left bumper will allow you to barrel roll, evade enemy attacks and so on. And using the right thumbstick will allow you to hover over enemies using your targeting reticle. To fire, all you have to do is press the right trigger, it's pretty simple. But for some of your targeting reticles, you need to actually lock on to enemies as you can see me doing here. So I'll hover over an enemy, paint over as many enemies as I can. Um, some weapons allow you to paint over three enemies, some allow you to paint over six, and you hit the fire button. Now I press the left trigger here to switch my targeting reticle, I'm actually using a secondary weapon. With this targeting reticle, I do not need to paint the enemies. What I actually do is hold the right trigger to fire, and any enemies that come into my targeting reticle will be fired at. So I went ahead and took out 52 of 59 of those. I wish I could have done better, but you know what? Next time I'll play through it again. We have an elemental attribute system which is in this game, which is key to being able to beat enemies quickly. So if you notice those enemies there, when I highlighted over them, they turned green. That let me know that the element that I had equipped would do bonus damage to those enemies. I went ahead and switched to my secondary weapon here and you notice that they don't highlight green anymore, instead they highlight white. So when I fire at them, I simply do normal damage. Cleared out the five of them pretty quick, got my S rank. You want to get S ranks the entire time in this game. Now if you notice, I've got a second dragon that's on screen with me. That is my wingman. I can move my wingman back and forth by using the D-pad. If I press forward on the D-pad, he moves to the front. If I press back on the D-pad, which I should do right here, he'll move to the back. We're entering a section of the level where I have to collect beacons. Beacons are data points, um, data fragments, I should say, that are scattered all, of, all throughout the level, and you have to collect them. Collecting them all gives you the best score. Flying through these portions of the game is pretty simple. You're just going to use the left trigger, or excuse me, not the left trigger, the left thumbstick to move back and forth across the screen. Sometimes you will need to barrel roll to reach those trickier beacons. I got all 15 of those, so we're good to go. We're coming into one of the boss fights. Now again, I've leveled up my dragon all the way, so I'm going to be able to take out this boss from the first mission pretty easily. I go ahead and switch to my secondary skill here, and he is down. You'll encounter plenty of boss fights throughout Crimson Dragon, some of which are a lot harder. Actually, most of which are a lot harder, but again, first level. Got to show you the basics for now. You can kind of see the scenery that we're flying through here. This is the Coral Lakes region. A real beautiful place with these rocks and protrusions coming out of the sea, or of the lake, I should say. So, I'm going to go through this next part and kind of show you again what it looks like to highlight enemies in green, knowing that I've got the right the right weapon equipped for the battle. You'll see me barrel roll out of the, the way of an attack right there, and then I'm going to call my wingman for to let him do you know, most of the work. You can hire wingmen in games, and you can actually hire your friend's wingman, so if you've got a friend that has a really great wingman, make sure to hire it use it, they, your friend will gain XP and you'll have an easy time getting through these levels. So I've switched back to my primary weapon here, you can see me using the right thumbstick to target, right trigger to fire, like I said, hi highlight as many enemies as you can and let loose. We're just about through the entire mission now, I've got a few more enemies to mop up, but this isn't, this isn't too bad, this isn't too bad at all, I'm able to pick these guys off with ease. Now you and your wingman have a special combined attack, which is called partner attack. So if you come up to a swarm of enemies like I have here, and you want to deal out massive area of effect damage, you press X on the controller and you will launch into a partner attack. Here's me doing this right now, you'll know the partner attack is happening when you see this animation. And here I am, doling out massive damage, and I've defeated the Red Vespin in 14 seconds. So, that's what you guys need to know. You've got your movement down, you know how to evade attacks, you know how to target your enemies. You guys are ready to jump in Crimson Dragon. So we can go through here and look at my score. Not too bad, not too shabby. You guys can do better, I'd love to see those clips. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.